Today we're going to shoot some gallium tipped bullets at a big aluminum heatsink to see what kind of effect it has. Previously we shot a big 5 pound gummy bear with a gallium bullet and a lot of people wanted to know what would happen if we shot some aluminum with it. I was definitely curious too and I thought it was a great idea. To create these rounds we took normal bullets, drilled out the hollow point to create a deep cavity. When the gallium is put inside this cavity as it cools off and solidifies, it actually expands and will lock itself inside the end of the bullet. We're going to shoot a normal Remington Golden bullet first, just to see, you know, because people would like, what kind of damage does a regular bullet do? So let's give that a shot. Okay, go for it. Oh! So there you go, that's what a normal bullet will do to an aluminum heatsink. Now much of the world insists on calling aluminum aluminium, but when Americans call it that we just sound kind of snooty, so forgive me for calling it aluminum. Since gallium melts at about 85 degrees Fahrenheit, we had to keep the bullets in an ice chest to keep them from melting, and Darren will be using this Remington Speedmaster 22. Okay, he's gonna load the gallium bullet in there. Look how silly that thing looks. It's got a big blob of it in there and it's in the core. So go ahead, load it up real fast before it gets hot. Whenever you're ready, man. Nice, sounds the same. I know. That sounds different. Wow. That sounded different too. That's some, it's some authority. The first bullet just left a very small dent. Don't really see any gallium left on there. The second one's a little better. We see a little splattering. The third one actually hit the same spot as the second one. And the fourth one did more damage. But none of them did as much damage as the plane bullet. Now when a bullet is fired, it's going so fast that the air in front of it is being compressed. You can think of this as a piston without a cylinder. Because the bullet's traveling at such a high velocity, it's actually generating some heat. And in some of these shots, you can actually see a glimmer or a trail of gallium mist in the wake of the bullet. Now even though we're losing some of the gallium just on the way to the heat sink, uh, enough of the gallium is striking the, the aluminum and uh, we can see it splattering as, as the bullets strike. Now the big question is, will enough of the gallium stick or embed itself into this aluminum where it will actually start interacting and corroding the aluminum? Now we'll take this heat sink home, let it sit for a couple days and see what it looks like. The pockmark on the left is the normal bullet. This is the area where the two bullets hit. You can see a little bit of weird crystallization that has occurred on the uh, pockmark on the right. The other areas that we hit, that's our first shot, that's our fourth shot, um, really haven't changed at all. And on a side note, we actually heated the heat sink up to try to increase the reaction and still nothing happened. I really don't know if there was some kind of nefarious or sinister purpose that the people that suggested this had, you know, like shooting out a Zeppelin or something, I don't, I don't know. But it was still a lot of fun to try because I was really curious what would happen too. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.